Why am I saying this? I am saying this because I believe that the very center of what we do and the very center is about conflict. Making films equals having conflicts. There's no other way around it. No matter what you do, no matter how much money you have, no matter who you're going to be in your life as a filmmaker, this is what's going to happen. And you don't even need the big studio stories. You could be the person that is so successful and so looked up to that nobody is going to ask, uh, question you anymore. And you still have conflict. Why? Because you're left alone. And um, I believe the reason for filmmakers to make their strongest work at the beginning is because they have more conflict and they know they have to go through it. And later on, in the stage that we all dream of, I'm not there yet, the stage we all dream of, we're a respected filmmaker, and if we say it, it better counts. That stage is a very, very, very dangerous stage. Because people don't mean it bad. They just don't, I don't think these people, the, the, the uh, really successful filmmakers, I don't think, I think it's a very tricky process. I, there might be some who, who don't like it, just, they just fire people who are difficult. And there might be people who don't do that, but just people don't, don't say it anymore. If, if, um, if, if, if David or uh, uh, Stephen or whoever says it, who am I? I don't think it works, but yeah. That's another reason why I said this about conflict. <laughs> Films are about conflict. Um, oh, let's take, I take it one step back. I go back to the, uh, to the directors. Um, we want harmony. We have this dream, especially us filmmakers, we have this dream of creating, we are creating a world. A film is a world. So we are creating a world that is better than the world we know. This does not mean more harmonic. It can be more true, less bullshit. It can be anything. It can be more dreamy, more sexy, more romantic, harder, softer, brighter. <coughs> But we are creating a world, and I think that we also create a world in, with our team and with the time that we are shooting, that the time that we sp the spend with the, all these people that listen to us, that better listen to us, that hopefully listen to us, that sometimes listen to us, whatever is the case. And um, of course, we hope that this is going to be good. And I think that with the good, a lot of times comes the not as I've known all my life. And I think within that is less conflict, less bullshit that you get. I believe harmonic setups, harmonic systems are stupid. Harmony does not, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm just to make this clear, I'm not at all about you should be an asshole on set. I'm not at all about you should be the Führer. I don't believe in that. That's not creative. Uh, it should be, don't spread fear. Fear is not good to be creative. But what I'm saying is, you need to say what you need. You need to say it. You need to rephrase it if people don't understand it. And you need to really be careful about that other people might be right with their criticism or might not be right with their criticism. You need to learn to say what you need. Now, this might sound easy, but we all know that it's very hard. 
because you can expect the other people to know it because you said it once and it's in the script. And if you just read the script, it's just there's no other way. How didn't you read the script? <laughs> yeah, they did. It's just that they it can be seen in different ways. So I think the two common ways that you can get stuck in is not saying it because you're shy, and everybody is shy. We want to just hope that they just understand. Or you're charging in, and you're like getting angry how somebody can be so stupid, or obviously not thinking. I'm saying, don't do either. I'm also saying, if you do either, don't be angry with yourself. We all do it. You can't be perfect. You will have a conflict with yourself. We all know that. It's the biggest conflict we have in our lives. You're ashamed. You screamed at somebody. You, you might not know it, but you're ashamed of that. You didn't, oh, I'm not a real director. I screamed at a guy. <laughs> <laughs> David or Stephen would have never done that. <laughs> So there's your conflict. And, and I just encourage you to forgive yourself and to, to learn that. And you can learn that on an everyday basis because you, can, you don't need a film project for that. It also means giving people credit because believe me, I don't think out of 100 people that are in teams, I don't think there are 10 that don't give a shit. They do. People do it the best they can. It's sometimes hard to believe that, really, if they, <laughs> the way they fuck up. It's like, that can't be his best. So obviously, he's betraying me. <laughs> I don't think so. Plus, uh, again, you are creating an environment you are creating a persona that you are. So even, so let's say you have a real asshole. It can lead to that you focus on him. It will change you. It will change you towards everybody else. He will be a little in command. Fire him. It's hard. It's hard to fire people. Uh, have I done it yet? I should have done it once. Was a great, it wasn't, he wasn't even an asshole, he was a great guy, he was just incompetent. I didn't find him, it was a mistake. We want to be liked. We, we want to do it, we want to be able, we want to be doing it, be able to do it all by ourselves. Learn how to fire people. It's important. Be very careful about it and be extremely nice about it. And let them know it's not them as a person, unless it's a real asshole person. But even, don't, don't even tell him. You're getting too involved. Tell them it's what you need from this position. And that for the project, it's your responsibility. If they understand, good. If they don't understand, it's the reason you fire them. <laughs> don't spend days and emails and, and a lot of time. Tell them. It's a hard choice. Do it. Be very careful with the two, though.